first and foremost, man, <clears throat> again, I <laughs> promise you guys, I'm close to being out of the Bridezilla's hands. <laughs> we, uh, I was going to uh, provide you guys three videos today on this channel, but uh, I played this game earlier on in the morning, got this one done. Uh, we took a look at a wedding hall, and that right there was, you know, majority of our day. And uh, after that, we went back to uh, her place and just hung out, watched a movie, and hung out with the kids. So, um, <clears throat> again, have faith in me, y'all. Have faith. We're just in the midst of, uh, you know, planning a wedding and, and all that fun stuff going. So, uh, you know, we're still going to provide you guys multiple videos a day over here. You know, have faith in me. As much as you guys, as much as I have faith in you guys, you know, uh, supporting the videos, you guys should hopefully have supporting your boy going on ahead and pumping up the content. So, we're playing with the 49ers after a tough loss using the Raiders against this very same team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I was definitely a little worried as soon as I matched up and I seen him with the Cowboys. I'm like, great. I had the Raiders in um, the other game, and the Raiders are definitely better offensively than the 49ers, um, which offensively, I didn't really have too much trouble. It was defensively, though, I couldn't stop them. And the 49ers defense is like probably the worst in the game. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, he's going to run amok on me. The only chance I have if, for whatever reason, this guy is just not a runner. We end up settling for a field goal. And, you know, fourth down swag, learn it, live it, love it. You guys know how I roll, man. Got to use special teams on fourth down. And believe in the Madden gods. So very first play, he comes out into play action. He throws a dot to Des Bryant. I'm like, great. Somebody who likes to pass the ball out of running sets. So he comes out in his heavy formation. He runs the ball. And uh, we somehow bottled it up to only four yards. Listen. Holding one of these damn running backs with this offensive line to only four yards of carry is, it's a damn, it, listen, listen, it's an accomplishment, man. And right there on fourth down, he chucks up the Dez out of split close. I knew he was going there, and I tried to bait it, but my guy was just not fast enough to get where I needed him to be. So right here, he goes for the screenplay. Good play. I definitely wasn't expecting it. And he picks up the first down, and he gets ball at half. So I'm just already a little frustrated. Up, oh, well, there goes that great blocking from that offensive line. Oh, my goodness. Second and two right here. He hits the flats. I'm like, why don't you pick that off? He threw it right at you. Third and two. He goes for the screen. But don't test the user. He is so disrespectful, though. As we come away with the pick, that right there was a very big, big, big turnover that, we, uh, you know, prevented him from scoring. And, uh, you know, now we're able to see if we can put points on the board ourselves. And again, very, very, very big boost of momentum considering he was driving, looking good, looked like he was about to score. And now the tables have just turned off of one mistake. So uh, now let's see if we can score. Put the pressure on him. A touchdown will be great. Obviously, I'll settle for a field goal. But a touchdown before half to go on ahead and take a two-possession lead means no matter what he does um, in his first possessions to start the second half, I'm going to get the ball back with the lead. So from that point, it's up to my offense to win the game. So we did a good job, you know, killing a lot of clock. We wound it down all the way to six seconds. I'm going to do one more run, and it just so happens we get great blocking, and we score a touchdown. Clearly, I was going to go on ahead with no problem settle for a field goal. But we end up going on ahead and scoring a touchdown. Again, putting us up two possessions right before halftime. So that right there just was, again, a huge swing of momentum. And this has happened to me plenty of times. I know I'm somebody who definitely relies on momentum. And, and you know, uh, to go on ahead and throw an interception right before, you know, half on his only drive. Because he only had one drive the entire first half. And for me to take a two-possession lead, I'm hoping it, it kind of makes him not play as good as it would me. Because I would have been real upset. And Lord knows when I'm upset, when things go against me, I play even worse than what I already do. <laughs> so uh, right here, he chucks up the double coverage, and we stop that right there. So we force a fourth and 31, and he decides to go for it. And we get ourselves a block shed, incomplete pass right there. So now it's like, okay, three straight runs. Kill clock, kill clock. Kill clock, take our three, doesn't matter. Kill clock, but just like, wait a minute, third and 15, we'll play it safe. I'll, I'll pass, but I'll go underneath. And I end up missing the field goal. I've been missing a lot of field goals lately. I mean a lot to the point where it's, it's embarrassing. And this right here still keeps him in the game because if I kick that field goal, if he scores a touchdown, and then my next, uh, my next uh, possession, if I kick another field goal, I still maintain a full one possession lead. 
And unfortunately, that's taken away because I missed the field goal on my previous possession. So now he's already in field goal range. So he's going to make it bearing a turnover. Just like that, another I used their pick. Bearing a turnover, if he did score at least a field goal, it's going to be a one possession game. But you know, now it's still a two possession game. So now back to the game plan. Chew, chew, chew. Chew that clock. Keep the ball on the ground and go on ahead and have this guy. Uh, you know, put put him against the ropes. Right, so we bring it to the fourth quarter. I have no problem punting. Why? Because I'm still up two possessions. Even if he scores, then I'll go on ahead and try to be, you know, uh, a little bit more, uh, less concerned, a little bit more aggressive instead of passive. You know, but uh, right now I'm I have the perfect pos I'm in the perfect position to play passive, just because you know I just want to waste a lot of clock. So first and ten, he hits the flats house somewhat there like almost in the vicinity so second and four right here he's driven the ball downfield every time he touched the ball it's just so happens that both times they ended in interceptions but he's able to move the ball against me no problem uh he just made a few bad reads speaking of bad reads we dropped the pick right there third and eight and again i'm just too slow to get there first and ten right here and he ends up going to the flat but we are there to only you know i mean it's a game of five but could have been a lot worse he decides to run the ball, and uh, this time I was like, okay, he's going to run the ball, so let me run commit. So I did run commit there, but somehow we come away with another pick. This man had three red zone picks go against him. And to start off this drive, I wanted to come out in the pass. I was thinking maybe he's going to run commit because I was so run heavy, and I was wrong because he ran command second down. So third and long right here is like, you know, a big play could end this game because um, I'm just going to continue chewing clock, and I think that right there was pretty much the nail in the coffin. Right here, we break a tackle. We get a great game. Two-minute warning is there, and he knows game is just going to be over at that point. We're already up two possessions. We're just going to chew clock and uh, put the game away. So um, he offered me a friendly quit, and I you know, quickly declined that because he's not my friend. I don't know this guy. So we end up getting back on the right track and winning the game. So we lost with the Raiders against the Cowboys. Very next game, I trusted in my Niners, and we got the W. So, that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, GS Man, with a one-game, one streak, 32-13 and 13 so far in the season. Leave in the comment section what team you guys would like me to play with next. See you guys next time. Peace!